What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Back with the simple poll. I was watching the fights last night. I want to really rewatch the fights because um, I've only seen them once live. Well, it wasn't live. I watched it after the point, but I only seen it one time, one viewing. Uh, it was live for me, first time I seen it. So I kind of want to go back and rewatch it. But it's regarding the Peter Quillen versus Gabriel Rosado fight. Some people are up in arms about the way it ended. I myself am a little discontent. I think it was a fun fight. It was a good fight. Pretty much what I expected. I know Gabe Rosado is a tough Philadelphia fighter. He brings it. He gave Jay Leon love problems. Knocked him down. Um, I know Peter Quillen. I've interviewed Peter Quillen. He's a game competitor. He wants to prove he's the best at middleweight. So it was a fun fight. But... The way it ended has a lot of people questioning Peter Quillen, um, what would have happened. It looked like Gabriel Rosado was coming on. Some people said it was unfair. So I want to get your input. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think of this particular fight. Did you enjoy it? And what do you think of the stoppage? Do you think the fight was ended prematurely? Uh, I want to touch basis. I did a post-fight video, but I will touch on it again. In my eyes, it was a fun fight. And unfortunately, I don't like troubled endings and what i mean by troubled endings are the endings where it doesn't end in the traditional sense like someone doesn't get knocked out or tko'd or doesn't go to the decision troubled endings in the point of um like a mikey garcia orlando salito some people said uh mikey garcia was starting to fade in the later rounds and we know orlando salito is a seasoned fighter so maybe he owned those championship rounds but an accidental headbutt broke Mikey Garcia's nose, the doctor stopped it, we'll never know what happened in that particular fight, um, even though Mikey Garcia looked really good early, you have uh, fights like Edis Landi Lara versus Angulo, that was another good fight, very competitive, Angulo knocked Edis Landi Lara down twice, and a lot of people thought he was getting the best of him, so it ended in a, when Angulo turned his back because he had that huge welt swelling on his head, um, just those types of endings, Victor Ortiz, Mayweather, I prefer to see it end in a more traditional fashion, either by knockout, TKO, or go to a decision without biased, controversial scorecards. That's my ideal situation. So anytime you have a situation like this, there's going to be people who feel a type of way about it. My thing with this whole thing is Gabe Rosado is a tough fighter, and at the point in which it was stopped, it wasn't like he was getting pummeled. He wasn't getting beat to a bloody pulp. Um, it's a cut, so obviously it's going to bleed. But to me, it didn't look like the cut was so severe at that given moment. Aside from looking nasty and what it could have done, it didn't look like it was so severe at that given moment or he was taking so much punishment to the point where the fight needed to be stopped. I think in this instance, you should give the corner a little bit more time. Basically, the corner had in between one round to fix the cut and the fight was stopped again this is a championship level fight you want to pay the respects to both fighters especially fighters who have good resumes they've been in there it's not like this their their first it wasn't Gabe Rosado's first shot at a title or anything like that so in a championship fight he's pleading with you he says he can see and he wasn't in a predicament to the point where he was getting swarmed it'd be one thing if the punch opened the cut and and i do acknowledge that it was a punch that opened the cut that that was a punch they can you can clearly see on the replay however again i just don't think at that given moment that the cut was hindering gabe Rosado from utilizing his game plan or that he wasn't in the fight any longer because of the cut. Obviously, it's a cut. It could bother him. Um, I just think it was premature in that sense. Like I said, the corner didn't really have ample time to work on it. They had one round to work on the cut. Um, nothing else continued to happen, but they, they felt, oh, it's so severe that we're going to just stop it. So I understand you got to take a look. It's, it's really a gray area because you got to take a look at the fighter's safety and their health, because a lot of times these guys are true warriors. They're not going to give up. Um, the guy that Deontay Wilder was socking up and knocking out, it didn't look like he wanted to give up. If he could get back up, he probably would have got back up and kept fighting to the point where he got brain damage. So I get that. I respect that. But from my stance, 
considering everything, I just think they should have given the corner a little bit more time. Or if Peter Quillen had pounced on him and he just made it look ugly and made it look worse and blood was splattering or something like that. Okay, cool. Stop the fight. But at that particular moment when they called a halt to the round, took him over the corner and had the doctor looked at it, look at it. I don't think anything so severe had happened to the point where you could honestly say without any question that Gabe Rosado was no longer in the fight based on a cut. So that's my stance. What do you guys think of this? Again, a good fight. Hopefully they rematch because I, I, I was entertained with the first fight. So let me know what you guys think. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off.